thank you very much for this uh, opportunity. You have a responsibility to inform the public. We also have a responsibility to keep the public informed of the happenings of this government of Dr. Dawda Lawal. Uh, you could recall we have said several times that this government inherited a severely damaged system. Virtually nothing was in good shape. But people continue to, you know, uh, make claims that what we are saying is not true. And like uh, the saying goes, seeing is believing. Part of what we complained was that as at 29th May 2023, when His Excellency Dr. Dauda Lawal came on board as a governor, he entered the government house but could not meet a single operational vehicle either for his own use or for the use of other government officials to keep the government machineries moving. We took time to study the situation after which the government now made a statement asking the former governor and some of his officials to return government vehicles in their possessions. And you could recall, you had the former governor responding on various international media, including BBC, denying that he has gone away with some vehicles belonging to the government. This government is a government that uses education, rule of law, and due process to pursue whatever it is pursuing. After all such denials, the government now went to, you know, seek for court's intervention on the matter, which granted an order that enabled the Zamfara State Police Command to, you know, seize the vehicles that belongs to the government that are or were at that point in time at the two residences of the former governor, Bello Matawali. After seizing the vehicles, now he approached the court asking for the vehicle to be returned to him as him being the rightful owner of these vehicles. At the same time, filing another suit, seeking for the, uh, you know, uh, the court to grant him uh, his right to own property as a citizen of this country. Yes, we know in the constitution there is provision for one to own property, either movable or unmovable. But those properties should be yours and should be lawfully earned. That is where that stands. Lawyers know this better because this is not my field, but from what we have known from the Constitution and some other proceedings of the court, you cannot just take away close to 50 vehicles belonging to a government and refuse to, you know, hand over them to the new governor. So virtually the governor has been moving without a convoy of the government, which are his, you know, uh, a right to use as a new governor. So reality cannot be hidden. No matter how much you make attempt to close it, and no amount of media propaganda or lies, you know, will cover anybody from his own lapses. To glory be to God, these vehicles are right now in the government house after, you know, receiving a court verdict, which shows that these properties or these vehicles actually belong to the government. Perhaps the, the former governor who claimed to own them did not give any evidence beyond doubt to prove his ownership of these vehicles. Thank you, you are here and you will go around to see them. And these are some of the things we are seeing. And that's why we are suspecting sabotage. This sabotage can come in different forms. The general public have the responsibility to ask questions. And we have the obligation and responsibility to keep them informed. Especially against the background of the uh, last media uh, interview granted to BBC where the governor was saying that all his belongings including charcoal, you know, stove and some marriage material uh, kept for his children and so on and so forth. Seeing is believing. Immediately after this briefing you go around to see 
for yourself. Right now, as far as the code is concerned, the vehicles behind me here belong to the Zamfara State Government. So we call on people to continue to rally around the new government. What makes His Excellency Governor Dawda Lawal clearly different from all the governors that we had in the past is his sincerity of purpose and commitment. Sincerity of purpose because he has already won the public trust. Whenever he says this is what he will do tomorrow, people have that confidence that he will do it. Governor Dawda Lawal is such that uh, a leader that you cannot just put in a tight corner and force him to say what he knows is not going to be possible. That is why when people make requests, what he can do, he will outrightly give approval. What he cannot do, he will plan for it. Sometimes he will tell you, he will see what is possible. He will tell you, he will study the situation. He will tell you that once you bring out things that are good for the state, he will look at them and if it involves putting them in the next year's budget, he will certainly do that. What you can never accuse Governor Dauda Lawal of is playing politics with the development of Zamfara State. We call on people to continue to support this government because the government is on the right course and what it is doing is to ensure that the masses or the citizens of the state are removed from the you know nightmare they have had over the past 20 something years thank you very much for this opportunity uh thank you for coming in total how many are the well uh, you can see that some are still being brought uh, from day before yesterday yesterday some drivers have been very busy along with security men bringing them right now that i'm talking Behind me are some of the vehicles coming. So perhaps we could have up to 50 that have been taken away. And the question one will be asking, every right thinking person will be asking is, where was he going with all this vehicle? How many days do we have to live in this world? How will you account for a single vehicle rather than taking away this? And what is the implication of this kind of behavior from people who are supposed to be, you know, uh, elder statesmen? What are they teaching the younger generation coming? Where are the locations that um, you are recovering the vehicle from? Uh, some of these vehicles were recovered from his house in Gusau and some in Maradon. But it is to be known that all these were done by the security themselves. People should not think that it was acted just by whims and caprices or by sentiment. Every vehicle that was brought here was following the court order because they remained there until last Friday's judgment when now they are being brought here. It is not people in the government house that gathered themselves and say, let's go and bring our vehicle. It followed a court verdict. So did the, uh, uh, the spokesperson of the former governor, uh, which is a former commissioner for information, also said that uh, there was uh, nothing like uh, the judgment in, uh, in Sokoto. There was nothing like a court city which gave the judgment in Sokoto State before the state government uh, uh, take the possession of all these vehicles. Okay, uh, let me okay, add to that. So, uh, May I respond like, to this or yeah, you want me, to yes, put yes, the questions to, together? Yes, okay, go ahead, please. Yes, uh, uh, claiming that um, the former governor withdrew uh, the case from court after interventions of some persons. That was what the former commissioner said. Well, uh, I, I don't know where he got this information. Like I told you, when we know something, we say it. We are not afraid of anybody. And you can see the courage that has been demonstrated by Governor Dauda Lawal. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of wisdom and the right people around you to take this kind of decision. Because if he lacks courage or he becomes a coward, he will not be able to go to court to seek for that order which has given the you know permission to bring the vehicle from the residence that had, they have been kept so it requires a courageous governor like Dauda Lawal it was that courage that has brought back these vehicles if it were business as usual or this one taken from this one or you just bring somebody and whatever you say he will not question you Dr. Dauda Lawal will look at you into your eyes 
and tell you that this is not possible. As long as it will affect the development of the state, he can face anybody. This I can assure you. So the former commissioner was just talking for the sake of talking. You can compare logic and sentiment from what I am saying. You can compare my interviews. You can compare the writings of the a senior special assistant on media and publicity, Suleiman Bala Idris, and compare it with all what they have been saying. They are only here to make noise on the media and think that the people of 30 years back are still the same people. Now people in Zamfara State have understood that a government is in place and this government is for the people, not for any single individual. Yes. Okay, uh, so other persons are of the view or the feeling that the president's administration is bent on projecting the former governors in bad light. The question, if I would like, I will ask you a question. Are we projecting them in bad light when we help him to bring what is not his to the government house for the people? They can make claims. You know, anybody who feels that by doing good to the people, you are exposing his own recklessness with financial resources or uh, using the seat of power for personal gains and sentiment you will get irritated whatever governor Dauda Lawal does to bring development to the state is equal to exposing their rot in the past and, and that is it as long as he will do something good that will irritate their demons and they get upset and when you get upset especially when you don't have facts you are talking from sentiment or political hoax you will lose balance in what you say. You dig to yourself because reality and lies will never be the same. When you say a single truth, you will come back 200 times to say the same thing. But when you tell a single lies, you come back for the second time to concoct another lie to cover the first lie. And in the process, you make layers and layers and layers of lies. We ask people to make judgment. Journalists should make judgment, ask questions. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much for, for this.